Rick Danger's giving hit us his final 256 gigabyte overclocked Raspberry Pi 4 image. This is not a shove all the ROM sets, all the systems in a in a image and call it quits. This is a you know purpose built. He made his own theme. He hand selected the games. He put you know underrated gems in here it's all run really great really smooth on the raspberry pi 4 i'm excited to show you this one i think he put a lot of care and tlc into it um you know and you can you can also see that you know he made it you know there's little things here and there like i was just noticing right here you can still kind of see the um the cut the watermark on that image <laughs> and then like i pointed out in the last image there's like like this right here you can see where it wasn't quite all erased and the same thing over here. But that's awesome that he made his own theme and set it all up. As far as the theme itself, though, like when you're scrolling, it looks really good. It's fast. It's fun. Um, as far as the game selection, they all have, you know, uh, not only the pictures, but video snaps. And then if you hit select, you have a combination of screensavers from the different video snaps to check out some of these really cool games. And you can just hit A and those games will launch. But uh, at 2,000 games, 256 gigabytes in space, put this on a hard drive or micro SD card. This one's definitely one to check out. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So on first boot, the controls are reset. It should ask you to set it of your controls. You can go ahead and enter it. I went ahead and went over every system so far later in the video as far as how many games per system. But I did want to focus on some of the cooler systems like MS-DOS and which games he chose. And then go through like Jazz the Jackrabbit is on here. The Incredible Machine, awesome game. Um, PC Engine CD. Some of these bigger systems in case you're curious about what games are exactly included on this one. Ports, you got Doom, you got Doom Freedom Phase 1 and Phase 2, Doom 2, Duke Nukem, Prince of Persia, Quake, Super Mario War, Wolfenstein, and Cave Story. They're all the English versions. PlayStation, there's a huge collection here, I think over 100, like all the Tony Hawk Pro Skaters, all the Tomb Raiders, Tekken, Tempest, Spyro 1 and 2, and the Year of the Dragon, Ridge Racer. So, and it's not necessarily, this image isn't all racing or all fighting games. If anything, I, if I was to kind of see what, and I mean, there's sports games, it's really hard to say. There's pinball games even for a lot of these systems. So I don't, and the RPGs. So I don't feel like any one genre of game was necessarily focused on. And if you read his readme, he talked about how, um, you know, he went more for, he's been, you know, doing retro games his whole life. And he went more for the obscure games, games that he's read in magazine. Okay, so leisure, a lot of leisure suit Larry on there. Um, and then also their classics as well. Blade Runner, or Urban Runner. Isn't there a Blade Runner as well? I wonder if that one's on here. Did we pass it? Yeah, Blade Runner's on here as well. Cool. So uh, Sega 32X, just a few. Sega CD, quite a little bit here. A lot of really good ones. Uh, and then for these systems, I'm just going to skip around because they're pretty standard. Amiga, a lot of people like to see what Amiga games. I think he only included 200, so it's not a lot. For those of you wanting to get into Amiga, this might be a good image for you because there was a lot of titles for Amiga, and then there's some really good ones as well. And maybe start here and look at that Rick Dangerous. There he is, the one and only. Uh, so you do have Rick Dangerous on here as well. All right, uh, I skipped over to Arcade there. Let me finish the Amiga collection. And then we'll check out the Arcade. The Arcade set um, was uh, only 200 games, all the Alien Breeds on there as well. Only 200 games, a lot of them running the FBA, Final Burn Alpha emulator. And so, you know, your CPS 1, 2, and 3 games are in here as well. And then also some of those classic arcade games like Donkey Kong, Gunsmoke, Hook, Mappy, Missile Command, MK1, 2, and 3, NBA Jam, TE, Cuber, R Type 1 and 2, 2 Rampages, Roadrunner, Robocop 1 and 2, Salamander 1 and 2, nice to see, Street Fighters, Super Street Fighters, Ninja Turtles, and The Simpsons. And he even got Verse the Goonies, nice. X Men, 4 player, 
version and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I'm sure the Simpsons are on here as well. Yep, two player and four player. And then, ooh, the Ninja Turtles, you got two player, four player, two player, four player. Pretty classic ones. And then uh, you got Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Both good games. Atari 50, Atomus Wave, about eight or so. Um, Commodore 64 100, Dreamcast. Now, here's a big collection. You're probably wondering what exactly is on here. So we started in L over there. We'll go through this. And again, it's, it is the popular games, but there's also some really obscure games as well that you don't see with a lot of, you know, like Wacky Races, the Looney Tune Races, Walt Disney's Magical Quest, um, Vigilante 8, Unreal Tournament, a lot of people don't put this on, Tony Hawk 1 and 2, uh, so a lot of really cool games that you don't always see in every single uh, image that's out there. So, Ready to Rumble, Revolt, Power Stone 1 and 2, so you get the classics, you know, Mortal Kombat Gold, but you also got like some obscure stuff, like Looney Tune Space Race, We'll play in a little bit. Game Boy Advance, only 100 as well. There's over 1,000 games for the Game Boy Advance. You know, I see no reason in putting all 1,000 on here. So cool that he selected, you know, some of the best. You know, the Zeldas, the, Nint the Marios, um, things like that. Sega Master System 60, Mega Drive 197. Neo Geo CD, you got 25 games. And uh, I'm not really focusing on the smaller systems because it's easy to just drag and drop a ROM, and the ROMs are really small. You know, you shouldn't have to, you know, it shouldn't have an issue finding that stuff. And then your Nintendo, and that's it. So really, really nice image. Really good stuff. So here is his README file. This is good information that, yes, the image is overclocked to, st to start. He tells you how to change it. Basically, you once you burn the image, you can put it on a PC here. I actually have a config file, not the same one, but from a different RetroPie image. And like usually about around this area here, you can see it here. This is looks like it's for a Raspberry Pi 3 because it's only 1300 megahertz. But um, this one is for a Raspberry Pi um, Four. So um, he has it up to two gigahertz, the GPU up to 600 megahertz, over voltage set to six. This isn't a crazy overclock, and as long as you have like a fan or some sort of cooling, the Pi will run at this with hours and hours and hours. You'll be just fine. Um, now, if you want to change that, you would just open the config file in this image and change it here. He tells you what to change it to. You just copy. You can literally just copy and then you know paste something like that. Maybe probably do that. Boom. And then just save your file. But I'm not going to save it. This is just an example. Now, um, it is set for HDTV. Um, he talk, talks about Redream actually works better at the lower res. I'm sure, especially in some of the higher, you know, demanding games like Quake 3. Bezels for Arcade configured with this resolution and all the DOS games as well. Bezels can easily be disabled if they don't fit on your screen and DOS box can be restored to the original settings. Uh, there's where the DOS box files are. So he's had some issues and he redid it. No fancy boot screens, just plain old vanilla stuff. This is the top rated image, 90% top rated games with some underrated gems. It only has 1,800 games, which isn't a lot, especially with you, you see these 10,000 game builds with 256. But, um, you know, you'll see here in just a second. Um, Dreamcast, 157 games. That's a lot of data right there. That's already why you're going to see a lot less games. So, um, and I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom, which I like of as, you know, he's been around for a while. I believe he's over 40 years old. And so, you know, he's been through this generation. He's read a lot of magazines, he says. He's been checking out, you know, a lot of these games and playing them for a lifetime. Um, and so he just hopes that, you know, a lot of you out there will like it because he's hand selected so many things. And that's pretty cool to see that he is. Um, you know, taking the time. He thinks two play. It looks like he hangs out in the two play room. For those of you that don't know, two play is a great resource as far as uh, the Raspberry Pi, Retro Pi scripts. Um, you know, he's he's behind the play box. A lot of really great stuff. So back as far as the games. So all source latest no intro ROMs, which is great. So these are really high quality latest versions. Mix art and snap for all the games. So all the artwork and things. It is on RetroPie 4.6.1, and it was recently updated at the end of May. 
Um, and you can obviously update that yourself. When you boot up the, he reset the controls. So when you boot up your first boot, it's gonna ask you to set up your controller, no matter what controller you're on, as long as it's recognized. And then, um, so it does have the latest retro play of all Amiga games that he has. He has 204. So arcade, he only has 200 games, which isn't that crazy, but they're all tested. He's using you know the, the emulator that he thinks runs these great and all the bezels are centered and ready to go. Atari 2600, 50, a Thomas Wave 8, Commodore 64, 100, Dreamcast 157, a combination of Regime and Flycast emulator, Game Boy Advance 90, Master System 51, Sega Mega Driver Genesis 195, Neo Geo CD 24, Neo Geo Regular 33, NES, Nintendo Regular 103, uh, DOSBox PC Games 22, PC Engine 20, PC Engine CD 20, PlayStation 1 Games 161, 60 Scum VM, 10 Sega 32X, 37 Sega CD, 31 Famicom, 160 SNES, and ZX Spectrum 103. And there you have it for his README file, which is very helpful indeed. And then lastly, as far as the file itself, it's a 224 gigabyte file, 241 billion, 419 million bytes. So if you're using SD card, make sure you have that available to you. Otherwise, now you know you can run with the Raspberry Pi 4 on a hard drive as well. He also has some favorites here, a lot of really great ones like Alex the Kid, Cannon Fodder, Chaotix, a mix of new and old classic games. All these games you can get lost in for hours. Really good games. So also check these out as well. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, one more hit. Oh, he might actually get me. Wow. That's right. Don't mess with the humble guy. Versus the guy jumping around all crazy. So, unfortunately, though, Redream is pretty good. Yosemite Sam. I wish there was a track map. Is there like a track map? Oh! Who did that? That's messed up. Whoa. Whoa. That ain't cool. I like that it doesn't take so long to um to respawn. Oh, that's cool that they rubber band. 
Well, actually, not really cool. It makes it really easy. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, nice. Alright, so not bad. Let's see the games here. Yeah, you got your whole game loader over here. A lot of games. A lot of good ones. Showtime. Oh, there's a pinball game. Love pinball. I'll have to play that later. So Arkanoid for DOS, why not? City had the bezel set up as well for this, so that should be good. And uh, because it's DOS box, I believe you can not only do your controller, but you can also do mouse and keyboard. Please select a video. And here you go, you can select your different ones. I'm gonna go with the mouse, because I have my mouse hooked up when I was reconfiguring my, um, my controls to my Nice. And the mouse. Whoa. <laughs> Ignore that. Whoa. 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 Multi ball. Someone's at the door. Someone is at the front door. I know. But I'm trying to play some games here. Oh, I went to the next round. And then for. Arcade, I mean, let's just hit up the Simpsons. Let's go with the two-player version. All right, nice. Tokens, once this gets started. So I'll give you my final thoughts on this image while this plays out. Awesome stuff. The last one everyone loved. He made some small tweaks, added some more games, fixed some common, you know, things that people said. You know, really small stuff. But, uh... You know, he went to the right people. He went, you know, to play and, uh, you know, he saw the comments and a lot of people reached out. And so really cool that he took something they started out with, improved it even more. That's always the stuff you want to, you know, see in the image world. Um, as far as this one, this is actually a one that I'm going to keep around because it has so many obscurities that, you know, like games like, you know, there's a lot of games I've never played before. And so, um, it's really cool to be able to get an image like this and uh, explore, you know, be like a little kid in a candy store again. So, um, everything's working really great, you know, everything you boot up. You know, a couple controller things, but that's really, you know, if you have a different controller, you have to do it anyways, but really easy to do. Um, and a lot of those resources are out there for you if you need, like, help configuring your controls and stuff. Um, as far as size, I think the 256 is such a great size because by the time you buy, you know, an SD card and a um, and the Raspberry Pi 4, I think, and then the controllers, I think it's like right in the right ballpark as far as you know price to performance. Um, hey, get off me, kid! Ooh. Ooh. He's blinking. Ooh. That that little chicken wave. Come on, Homer. You got this. Almost there. So anyways, as far as final review, two thumbs up. Loving it. The right size, the good selection, the built for a purpose, and uh, up to date. You know, what's not to... Well, I have to use a continue. I'm going to run out of tokens here. There we go. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. <laughs> Do the Homer dance, and we'll catch you on the next one.